So you're gonna have this beautiful opportunity to actually see refrigerant flowing through an evaporator coil. What I love about this system is you can actually see it happening. You see it changing state. So here we're leaving our metering device. We're going through this evaporator coil at a saturated state, meaning liquid and vapor. Now as we flow through this evaporator coil, the refrigerant's boiling away. We have to have the fan moving air across this coil to boil the refrigerant. If we stop the fan, we stop boiling refrigerant, and then we end up with a flooded compressor. So here we can see our refrigerant's literally boiling from a liquid to a vapor. Then we superheat that vapor before we go back to a compressor. On the other side of this, we have our superheated vapor and we have to run it through our condensing coil and we're gonna make it change state from a vapor back into a liquid. So the refrigerant you can see is clear. It looks like water because it's just simply a liquid. Water is a type of refrigerant, although we never want water in a refrigeration system. But this is really awesome. Love this opportunity that we can actually see the refrigerant flowing through these coils. And it may be less impressive if you see because it just looks like a clear fluid. And sometimes they actually use propane as a refrigerant and it looks exactly the same way. What's really happening in the refrigeration system is we de-superheat raw vapor, we change from a vapor to a liquid, and then we sub-cool the liquid. We should have a full column of liquid leaving this condensing coil before we go back to our metering device where we have our saturated temperature. We boil from a liquid to vapor, we superheat it to a superheated vapor, back to a compressor, low temperature, low pressure, superheated vapor. From a compressor, we have a high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor, and we reject heat in our condenser by de-superheating, changing from a vapor to a liquid, sub-cooling that liquid through our filter dryer to our medium device. Now we have saturation, low temperature, low pressure, saturated mixture, boil it from a liquid to vapor, superheat the vapor, low temperature, low pressure, superheated vapor back to the compressor. Compressor increases it to a high temperature, high pressure, superheated vapor. We de-superheat in our condensing coil, change from a vapor back to a liquid, that's latent heat, saturation, and then we sub-cool that liquid below saturation all the way through our liquid line filter dryer to our metering device, and the cycle just starts again and again and again. I love having this opportunity, and I'm so grateful that we can come in here to see this change of state so you guys can actually have a small visualization of what's happening in that system. Uh, this is a different refrigerant due to these tubes. We can't allow that higher pressure in there, so we have a safety issue but you can still see that refrigerant changing state. You can literally see the refrigerant boiling inside of these tubes, but because this glass doesn't actually change heat very well, you're not gonna see that flash boiling. But it's a great opportunity for you guys to see what's happening inside there. I'm so happy to have this opportunity. So this is our suction line going to the compressor. This would be blue for looking at a refrigerant cycle, but this should be low temperature, low pressure, superheated vapor. And right here we can see there's actually liquid flowing through this, and that's a bad thing. That means we're getting liquid to our compressor. So this would be zero degrees of superheat. That means we're at saturation. We always want at least five degrees of superheat to protect the compressor from liquid. So here you can see if we're at a saturated temperature or less than five degrees of superheat, this is a bad, this is a danger point. This is what's going to that compressor. The compressor is a vapor pump, not a liquid pump, not a saturation pump, not a mostly vapor pump. It needs to be a full vapor. So this little sight glass tells us we have an issue with the system right now. Compressor, whenever he says compressor. Condenser.
talks about low pressure 